It is the first season for the Bachelor spinoff featuring seniors instead of 20 somethings. The Golden Bachelor himself, did you know, is right from here in 21 country? He's been a busy guy, of course, but he did make time to chat with 21 Alive's Tony Benton ahead of the season finale. And as the first Golden Bachelor, tell me about what it's like, you know, being able to know that you're sharing this experience with others who have lived so much life and you're able to have these shared experiences and to tell them on TV. What's it like to be able to have that representation? That, that's really great. It's one of the most rewarding parts of this. Um, I get to show that people of my generation should not be considered invisible, that we have a lot to offer, that our acquired Wisdom over the years is helpful to other people, and uh, we're hopeful of the future and so forth. So it's, it's really great for that reason. Yeah. Out of all of the uh, challenges, dates, things that you've been on so far in the season, what would you have to say has been one of the most like, fun experiences that you've had so far? The most fun experience? Yeah, the, most, yeah, yeah, the most enjoyable I, experience I, or anything like that. I think the uh, the most fun experience was the day that I got to um, drive a vintage Bronco to a heliport <laughs> and get on a helicopter with a date and take that helicopter through the skyscrapers of the Los Angeles yeah. and land it on a yacht out in the Pacific. Wow. Um, that's a pretty impressive date. <laughs> That's a very impressive day and, and I'm sure an unforgettable experience. And you've been having a lot of those moments recently. I mean, you were at the CMAs, you were at the Pickleball Nationals not too long ago. I mean, what is it like attending these different events? How's that been? Um, it's, it's pretty tremendous. Um, I, it is fun being able to stop and take pictures with all these people, have brief conversations. Um, I genuinely enjoy that. Um, I, I think the minute it becomes tedious or becomes work, somebody needs to give me a swift kick because that's <laughs> really part of what this journey is about is getting everyone to enjoy it along with me. Yeah, yeah, it's, and it's, it's truly, truly exciting to be able to see you uh, You have these experiences. You know, um, e each episode, when you're doing these rose ceremonies, you know, what kind of emotions are you feeling when you're having to know what's about to happen, making these decisions? What's it like or what's going through your mind when you're going through these rose ceremonies? I was surprised to realize that in those rose ceremonies, the sorrow would hit me so hard that I actually had physical symptoms from it. I, I would feel my chest constrict and, and my breathing would become very shallow. Um, looking at the women that I had worked so hard to form a connection with, uh, only to have to be the guy that sent them home was such a disconnect of, of reality. Um, it was very tough moments. Yeah, you know, we're really able to see that emotion and really able to see uh, your authenticity throughout the show. We've got to be able to ask any of the women who have um, been sent home or, or, you know, who have been sent home through this process already. Could you possibly see, because we want to be able to have everyone find love. Could you see any of them as possibly the first Golden Bachelorette by chance? Oh, absolutely. There's probably, oh gosh, any of those women <laughs> yeah. could carry a Golden Bachelorette show. I have several uh, favorites, but I'm not going to name who those favorites are. Um, I think people a lot smarter than me will be able to figure out who the best candidates are. Yeah, see who would possibly be that first Golden Bachelorette. You know, each week when these shows air, when these episodes air, what's it like kind of hearing the viewers' response, whether or not it's on social media or out on the streets or, you know, family? What's it like seeing these, uh, these episodes play out each week and hearing from viewers? You know, it's it's funny you ask that because I was just remarking with my daughters the other day that the best entertainment I get uh, in reading comments and so forth is reading the negative comments because they can be so far off that it's hilarious. Um, but people are getting involved. They're getting invested in it. And it doesn't matter if they're off base or if they're really focused on the right points, they're loving it. All right, my last question for you, Gary. Talk to me, what is probably, or, or, or have you had a lesson through this whole experience? What have you been able to kind of walk away with? What have you learned, you know, as the first Golden Bachelor so far? Um, yeah, I think the lesson that I've learned for myself is to remain open 
Gather as much information as you possibly can as you go through this journey. Don't prejudge or predecide anything until you absolutely have to make a choice. And and you know, as I employed that and as I learned it more and more through the journey, it did pay rewards for me.